right. Back to some songs. I was saying backstage, this is one of those crowds that I can be vocally shacked out and yet you guys are willing to go along with me and I'm willing to go along with you and it's really kind of an amazing thing. So thanks for being one of my favorite places to come sing. Even though I'm kind of casual but fuck it. Say again? I say yes to everybody? I sure don't. I sure don't. Ames, Iowa? I sure didn't. Um, now it's going to get back to them somehow. Oh uh, no. All 2,000 of them will come after me. Alright. So, um, there's also, speaking of newer games, as I was earlier, there's a newish game that's independent that a lot of people said I should do for a long time. Not Five Nights at Freddy's, but maybe soon. <laughs> But it is somewhat new, and I played it, I loved it, I listened to the title theme and I thought if this game is half as good as the title theme, I'm going to make a lyric of it. Um, and I did, and even though there's no room to breathe in the lyric, it's cool because I still freaking love it. So, prepare to watch me either uh, asphyxiate, have a stroke, or sing a song all the way through <laughs> with Cave Story. than I remember you. Um, yeah. So, everybody that I hear they're squeaking ducks, that's like in your hand, right? Not somehow in your throat and you can't stop trying to get it out of you. It's somewhere in here. Find it later. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This is my new hat. <laughs> This one didn't fit. <laughs> All right. Um, not to blow my load early, but this next song is a song that I actually overheard being sung all the way through a cappella impromptu. I think it was near the video games area, but it made me think maybe I should do this one on my show. So. I actually, when I first thought about it, I looked at the lyrics and thought, I don't know, this is kind of sexist. And then I thought, actually, no. Tetris. This is probably one of the most romantic songs with dirty words Tetris. I've ever heard. <laughs> so without further ado, and sing along if you know the words. 
This one goes out to the ladies. Oh, fellas, listen closely. They don't always have to fuck her hard. In fact, sometimes that's not right to do. Sometimes you got to make some love and fucking give her some smooches too. Sometimes you got to squeeze. Sometimes you got to say please. Sometimes you got to say, hey, I'm gonna fuck you. Stop me. I'm gonna screw you gently. I'm gonna hump you sweetly. I'm gonna follow you discreetly. And then you say, hey, I bought you flowers. Position. That's cool with me, it's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. And then I'm gonna love you to speed me. And then I'm gonna love you to speed me. And then I'm gonna love you to speed me. But then I'm gonna position I was in, but it's probably better, because most of you have Instagram. It was a, a split second where I was like, you know, time slows down sometimes when you're goofing off on stage to a song you already know, and my brain was like, what if you got enough on a sexual position with this duck? And I was like, that'd be fun. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> my entire lower back and tailbone were like, don't do it, don't do it. This will be sad. This will be really sad. Go do it. You're 30 now. <laughs> Old. Okay, am I... Do I feel... Do I feel... Ah, there's my light. Not in it. In it. Two-Face. I can no longer figure things out. I'm gonna flip a coin. Should I wash my hands after I poo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two Face is, is a cool character at first, but when you start thinking about it, it's like, so you're, I don't know. I could talk about this for a while. It probably wouldn't be funny as much as philosophical and a waste of time. But it is kind of curious, right? What are you going to figure out basic things? But I guess that's how it goes. They kind of tried to shoehorn it into the dark night, didn't they? They were kind of like, hey, what's that thing they used to call you back in the day? I'm totally not saying a lot of exposition for no reason right now. Two face? Yes. Yes, that is right, dude. Anyway, great point, Grandpa Brent. You understand the movies the young people watch. All right, then. Um, this next one is a game that people really like. Now, I haven't done this one live very many times, so... Uh, there's a slight chance I might forget the words, but most of you are drinking, or have been. If you have a drink in your hand, and I go up, I will just yell, drink, and then you leave. So, at least if I'm gonna fuck up, we can get something fun out of it. Do we know this game over here? Earthbound? Cool. This is from my latest album, Philosophy, which is on sale uh, now, and um, it's Earthbound with Lyrics. Why did you get it? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. But if said Earthbound had lyrics, it'd probably sound something like this. Gather around, let's play Earthbound, a game that's sure to please. It's a sequel to some other game that was all in Japanese. One night a glowing meteor comes down from outer space. There's a kid named Ness 
asks him, wouldn't you guess he's gonna save the human race? So he gives his mom a kiss, and with a family like this, it's no wonder that he goes in alone. No, I mean his little baby says she wants a career service, and hey, his father is a telephone. This title shines, it's dark, funny, and creepy, with wacky lines, like who needs water for pee-pee, but hey, that's her bad. Zombies and illegal aliens. Oh, oh, a psychic girl, a science nerd, and a ninja join the crew, taming animals by hitting them, cause that's what heroes do. It's a crazy universe where a rookie front desk nurse can reanimate your slaughtered friends. Whoa, where you buy some more fresh eggs and in five minutes they got legs because now they're freaking full grown hens. Sing along, chickens. <laughs> Say sorry. sorry we could have bought some stock. Or fed a third world country. But we're kids, so we choose to get stuff we can use to fight robots. Is that cool or what? They fight through winter snows and lands of leisure. They get two things from clothes nightmares and seizures. So now they're forced to grind. Fights last forever. Reach level 99. The end is nigh. Have a cup of coffee, set the wheels tripping. Telephone your mother. This is just another average boy meets girl. Boy meets boy. Boy becomes a robot story. Yeah. Okay. Spoiler alert. Four robotic friends hold fast. Cause they are traveling into. Remember, they meet the source of evil there And the best him through the power of prayer Now it kind of lives our final fantasy lore But Earthbound's still a game that we adore That we adore Keep change my mode, this game is strange But it has charm and smart jokes So